Alright, so we are on day 14. And um, right now, it looks like we're just gonna tie up some loose ends, man. I finished the alternator wiring already. Um, as far as, like, I just gotta put a loom around it and, and, uh, and electrical tape that up. I'm just waiting on the four gauge wire I ordered from Amazon. Uh, so they said it's supposed to come tomorrow. But what else? Oh, I gotta bleed the brakes. Oh, the lower ball joints and the uh, tie rods. Gotta tighten those bolts down and put cotter pins. I hadn't done it yet because um, without the weight of the car on the ball joints, the, the one on the, I think the driver side is acting kind of funky. It keeps spinning the ball joint. Um, I'm eventually gonna have to get in there and change it. Um, but I just kinda, I'm at this point where I just kinda wanna get it on the ground um and drive it see how it feels and then start to kind of tighten up little stuff like that like the brakes on the front are new drums on the back i probably got to take those and get them turned uh get them turned right now put in the clutch cable because what happened with the clutch cable is the one the one that i put in there i, I took it from mayhem it's kind of long so it doesn't come nowhere close to the exhaust which is dope but the good thing about this one is that um, it's it's a, you can adjust it with the nuts, not like a set one, like the factory one. The only issue is is that I'm missing the little ball uh, that goes into the fork uh, that you lock down. I'm missing that. I don't know what the hell happened to it, man. Right? So um, I'm either gonna make one on my lathe or I'm first I'm gonna go to uh, Ace Hardware which is an amazing place for bolts and hardware, by the way. Um, I'm gonna go see if they have something that I might be able to use um, to kind of suffice for what I need. All right, so we got the rear wheels back off uh, to do the brakes, but they don't look like they were bad. It just looks like um, this little mechanism fell apart the spring broke, as you can see springs old so I'm gonna see if uh, the 7.5 has what I need to, to finish it up but yeah the spring broke right there so I'm gonna start on this side since it's all together and go back to the other side we did the other side so this is the side that had the issues now the pads don't look too bad uh, they look like they're actually done at some point because the, the paint's still shiny in there but this is what the issue was. This spring broke and this little retainer here bent or whatever this is, lever bent. So I got one from the 7.5 that uh, is exactly the same. Uh, side by side, they're exactly the same. Okay. Side by side, they're exactly the same. And this thing was pretty damaged. See that? It's pretty bent up in there. So, yeah, it's garbage. Let's go ahead and uh, install this and get going. All right, so we're at the stage now where the brakes are bled. That was a kind of a pain, but I had help, so it was cool. Now I'm in an issue that I am kind of disappointed about having to deal with at this stage. So, I don't know if you remember that I messed up this ball joint over here using the pickle fork. And I also noticed too that the tie rod ends, the castle nut will not go back on without spinning the, uh, without spinning the, the joint itself, the tie rod uh, connection. And I think that largely has to do with the threads being old and crusty. Because uh, they, they won't go back on. Like it's, you know, I'm using the impact. The impact's just spinning. Um, so that's a big issue uh, for the plan. Um, I put the clutch cable in and I got my wire from Amazon to do the 3G hookup here. And then here's the loom. I, used to hook up the, as you can see here, with the alternator, okay, and then I connected it right here, which I'm going to use some tape and kind of hook that up um, when I get the last piece, which would be this, in there. So I got these from Amazon, 
and I got them with the small eye, eyelets or whatever so that I can drill them to the size I want because uh, I didn't want them to be all like loose and then I got this uh, mega fuse holder um, so I can drill it and I'm going to put it down here by the evap box down right here like around that area right there all right Let's get to it. All right, so coming around the bend here, and I got my connections from Amazon, and I got this little heat shrink tube from um, Harbor Freight. All right, so I use the technique that I learned from House of Doula uh, because I honestly don't know much about wiring, never been taught. So I thought his method looked pretty solid, and I just mimicked it. And that's what I came up with. So I'm going to do the rest of the connections and then hook up the alternator, the 3G alternator. There's the alternator there. And here is the wire. And boom, and it goes to this fuse link right here, which is a 175. And then I um, soldered and then heat shrink the connection right here, came up, went, uh, followed the factory harness right here and then came down went under the battery box came up right here you can see and then boom all right and you can see how i did my connection all right so yeah uh that's it man so i'm gonna use this multimeter here to make sure that it's working okay and um yeah when that math comes uh you know then it will be able to kind of move a little further forward all right, so let me see if we can get this thing to do what I want it to do right now. And see, we got 14.7. So we're charging. We are charging. So the alternator, 3G alternator swap works perfectly. Thank you, House of Doula. Let's go. Now, I would have been done today but I still have to deal with these issues here with the suspension. It's really been giving me the blues. So the idea that I tried to reuse the tie rods, so they're on there for so long, when removing them, it got a slight, I guess, like a burr or something on the, on the, uh, on the threads and now they won't thread on, you know, keep spinning, especially when the ball joint's old, it'll keep spinning. Uh, and also the ball joint and the tie rods, both of them are jacked up. So I'll be honest, I'm out of money. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wait until um, I get back on the saddle and, uh, and then just replace them and make sure the car is safe. I mean, what's the point of doing all this work to go and smack it into a tree because a wheel fell off, you know what I mean? So yeah. There it is. All right, fellas, so as far as the swap goes, I am finished. Everything that uh, was supposed to come from the vert um, is now in this car. I'm talking about brake system, fuel system, radiator, engine, wiring harness, everything, exhaust, all that, it's in there. Um, I noticed, like I said, I know that this math came from the my blue vert, which was not running right, um, so, I'm already aware that that is an issue. So um, I have a couple of dudes who hopped on junkyarddolls.com and uh, and they came to uh, to my rescue, man. They're gonna send me a math uh, so I can get this thing running right. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. I mean, 14 days of building the car. So it will be for sale on junkyarddolls.com for those of you who are interested. Uh, yeah, it's gotta go. Moving on to the next project. All right, till next time, man. Junkyard dogging. Woo!